Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie an X Caddis. The hook I have in the vise is an 80000. It's a size 14. This is a standard dry fly hook. You can get this from greencaddis.com. The thread I'm going to use is a dark brown. This is 8 aught 70 denier. We're going to start by putting a base of thread on the hook remember keep that thread at the 45 degree angle and we're going to get nice touching wraps if, as long as we keep that at about a 45 degree angle and we're going to bring that back to where the Thread would hang at the barb of the hook. And we remove the excess. The X caddis was designed as a caddis that was emerging or still in the shuck, the shuck hanging off the back. And for that, I have there's a whole bag of it, but uh, this is Zelon. And this came from the core of a shoelace. And I have white. And what I did was I took about maybe one tenth of that core and I turned it tan. And this tan color just lightly used my tan marker on there. And if you get some uh, white left in there, that's good too. Because if you look at this tan color, you'll see this is pretty close to the color of the caddis shucks that you'll see going down the rivers. So we want to keep make that about a little shorter than the length of the hook. Tie that in. I'm going to secure that right on top. And we can bring that thread up to the front. It's not a big worry, but it's good practice that it will keep your fly level. Because we're going to use hair's ear dubbing for the body. And having a lump won't really matter. But it's good practice to wind your materials as far forward in order to keep that level body like I said then we're just gonna bring the thread back and I'm not gonna go all the way to the rear yet I'm going to take my dubbing wax now we're going to put some dubbing wax on there when you're using uh, hairs ear the product that you buy it is very dry and it's difficult to put on the hook and here's my hairs ear this is a light natural color and we're going to take that and we're going to first you could touch it on there and your wax will hold it And then we're going to dub that on. I'm going to turn my vise slightly just to give myself a little more finger room there. And then you could dub this and push that noodle to the hook shank. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap this. We're going to go towards the rear first. Get rid of those couple of real long ones there. And then we're going to take it up to the front. And having this scraggly body is good because what we're imitating, once again, is the caddis emerging from the shuck. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that right up to 
we're going to keep it a good one eye length from the eye of the hook. Take out the loose hairs. Having all of that on there is is good. It'll stimulate simulate the uh, caddis trying to break out of its shuck and through the water. Now I'm going to take some deer hair and this is pretty fine but it's also hollow and it's pretty fine deer hair. We cut it off and we're going to remove the fuzz that's in there. Then we're going to take the deer hair and put it in our hair stacker. And you want the deer hair to be about the size, maybe one quarter the diameter of a pencil. Give you an idea of how much. Just stack that deer hair. And we're going to take it out. And we take it out. Looks like I got some kind of foreign body left in there. And the tips are nice and lined up. We're going to make this caddis wing. We're going to put it slightly into the body just so the black tips are hanging off the back of the bend. Size that up and I'm going to hold that on there. Put a couple of nice tight wraps in there. And let that spin a little bit. And you can take all of the hair, anything that went to the bottom, bring that towards the top. And we're going to wrap right in front of that deer hair. And I'm going to brush the deer hair as I wrap. And this is going to trap it in there. The X Caddis, you can make this in a lot of different colors. You can make olive, you can make the natural like I just did. I think the natural is pretty nice for this. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to trim the top. We're not going to cut it all the way to the hook shank. We're just going to trim it. I like to put it at a bit of an angle. Now we'll take our whip finisher and give it several wraps in front. And tug that up tight. You can fish this in fast water. It's going to float really nice. I'm going to take some head cement and I'm going to put it on the underside. And that'll be sufficient. Let that soak in. And here we have a hare's ear ex caddis. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.